Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with what I'm calling a dry chain pull. So I suppose they're dry bead pull. So my um, idea is to completely saturate this canvas in colour, which you will see, or just there were just loads of colours that I had left over and some. Uh, newly mixed but I thought I'm just going to saturate it in colour and um, and you'll see the rest progress so they're really nice bright vibrant colours if you're looking for how to mix the acrylic um, paint to make it fluid art there's a link below in my description there's also a link for all my supplies too on Amazon store or link for Floetrol in the US. It's all under there in the description box. So I'll just let you watch me load the colors and I'll jump in where I feel I need to. Wow, I certainly have a rainbow of colours there and I'm just gently tilting and allowing the colours to just run over each other basically and over the edges so I get a nice colourful edge on my canvas. I know lots of you say oh there's loads of paint wasted there but you can scrape that paint back up and use it or you can dip it or allow it to dry for paint skins. Um, right here, so I'm just tilting this now so the colours all nicely run over the edge and now for the next exciting bit. I'm actually using some very dark navy there to put on the top and I really want it quite thick so it actually covers all of those colours. So my chain pulls or bead pulls will pull back through those colours. That is the plan. Let's see how we go. I'm thinking at this stage that I maybe should have done my paint a little thicker. Even maybe an idea is to allow your paint to dry off a little bit, absorb into the canvas because um, it was a, a little bit um, wetter than what I would like the paint. But anyway, I'll push on and see what we can get out of this, as we know, a gorgeous colours underneath there and they're going to really pop against that dark navy uh, background. just going to whiz over this with the heat wand you can see that it's bringing up little tiny champagne cells will add to the effect of the overall kind of a starburst effect I guess but um, that's what the idea is so we'll push on and start to pull the chains I'll keep a little jar of water there to put the dirty chains in 
straight after with the paint on as you'll see so I'll just pop those in my pot of clean water so it stops some um, the chains getting all clogged up and messy um, see what I mean with that the paint if the paint was thicker it would have allowed so much more detail from those chain pulls so it was a little bit too runny so learn from my mistake <laughs> don't do it so runny or maybe even allow it to dry a little bit so there I'm getting a bit frustrated because it's not as I imagine it's very bright and beautiful like it definitely looks as though it's against a starry night but of course I'm just gonna continue on and bring all those lovely colors out so just what look what I get up to next Okay, yes, I'm just free balling now. I'm just going for it with my balloon. As you see, the balloon is um, kind of a funny egg shape and I'm just going for it because I want to bring up all those beautiful colors underneath. The chain pull was nice and delicate, I guess, but I wanted to go a bit bolder because I know those beautiful colors are there. And just look at what's being brought up now. I love it. I love it. Favourite part of it. Looks so wonderful against that very black uh, background. That's my fun for today. I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did. I will be back tomorrow for more art inspiration for you. Have a look at um, these, the finished product and, and the edits of it on a wall app. It's called Picture Wall App. You can put your pictures on the wall. The link is down below in the description. So until tomorrow, I'll say bye for now.